anything you tease us with for the upcoming season? Um, you know, not much because Netflix will break my thumbs. <laughs> um, I, I can say that um, you know we're 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 starting we're starting very shortly after where season one ends off. As much as I really wanted to jump ahead like ten years, and Jack's just like running a deli and he still doesn't have his memory back. Um, we'll be coming in very quickly after after the end of uh, season one and just right back into the story. Um, and and so. You know, the arc this season that I can sort of talk about is it's very much, it's a year of change for everybody. And, uh, you know, they're, they're sort of, their they're, they're personal connections and the connections to their uh, secret societies are all coming into question for all of them. Struggling with personal choice and struggling with institutional choice. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there's there's hierarchy change because of the death of Edward, um, you know, is, or the disappearance of Edward into the book, shall we say, uh, at the end of season one, um, and so very much for uh, the order, uh, they have to come, you know, they have to get a new Grand Magus, and so that becomes a, a big a big component in the season as well. Who's the new big daddy? Or is there a very direct That's question a... about an entire season. Yeah. <laughs> um, Did you really think you're just going to slip that one yeah. in? I mean, Something's going to get answered. <laughs> There's a big bat. There is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. That's yeah. That's reasonable. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's hard to do though. Yeah. So with, a, yeah. with a show like this, do you have like a five-year plan? Is there something that you've written out to a certain point? And there's I don't know what I'm doing you? after this table. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I am trying to. I might get that bag of chips. Um, sorry, I interrupted your. No, I was just saying, is there is there a, like a book you're trying to follow or something you want to hit? You know, bullet points you want to hit as you go, or is it? I I, I mean, I'm looking at it uh, very much as um, you know a university life. So for me, you know, you know, from my university experiences and Shelley's university experiences, that's what we draw on, you know, as sort of creating a, a path for the show. There isn't a, I don't have a five-year master plan written out. Um, not this, <laughs> well, you're not supposed to talk about the other thing. Um, and the, um, you know, because there's so many variables that can come into play at any given minute that would completely render it you know, moot, and I'm inherently lazy, so that just seemed like a lot of effort for something that I could, like, you know, sort of go, eh, you know what, I'm not going to do this kind of thing. I really, you know, part of the fun for me is getting into the room with the writers, you know, painting ourselves into a corner, and then coming up with the fun way to paint ourselves out, uh, you know, and I, I think I'd, I'd lose a lot of that sort of, you know, storytelling, uh, you know, jazz, yeah. for a better term, if, if we had some like five year master plan. And, and you never know too like what other people are going to bring to you. Just like what we'll see develop with an actor on stage can have an influence on where we might want to go in the next season. So we've got magic, we've got werewolves, we've yep. seen the golems on the show. Yep. Is there any plan to maybe expand beyond that with other kinds of maybe producers or characters? Do you, do you plan for like the show to set all the way this next? Oh, um, that's a great question. Uh, there's definitely there's definitely other creatures. Uh, coming um, this season and you know down the road my only my only mandate with uh, creatures in this world is they all have to derive out of magic um, you know because I you know for me it's like when I see other paranormal shows and it's like they have you know they have you know magic and religion and then they've got like you know Bigfoot and aliens it, 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 it's almost like you start to get competing paranormal theories at play and, and I start to fall into well how can you have that if you're also you know having this in the world. So for me, as long as as long as it's a creature that we can say it's created by magic, um, we we can show it. And that's why you know for me it was like that's why we'll do a golem, but we wouldn't do a Frankenstein's monster. Now, if we discovered that the Himalayans practice a certain you know type of magic, yeah. is that 
that's how a Yeti came about? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, we'll, we'll find a way to write it in. <laughs> but that's just, that's just what, it, you know, that's just our sort of one rule is magic has to have created it. So, you know, you know, it's, it's kind of like, you know, will there be vampires in this show? Probably not, because I don't think vampires are created magically. Right. right? So. And they don't glitter. So. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> we suggested that this shows as much a comedy as it is a horror film. How do you do it? I, 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 I call it a horror comedy whenever I'm talking about it. It's very much, um, it starts, you know, horror is like why I'm in this world doing doing what I do because like I've loved horror films since I was like a child uh, kind of thing and I'm just a smart ass. So it's kind of like, you know, the, the comedy is just part of it. It just, it just comes in. Um, you know, I would be the guy, you know, walking around covered in blood after or something going, well, that happens. <laughs> yeah, kind of thing. In the age of Netflix and bingeable watching, has that changed how you write a series because it has that bingeable moment where you have that that power to not be so constri constrained by commercials and things like that? It's, I don't know. If, it doesn't really change how you write a series. Like, you, writing is writing in that respect, but it really changes how we think about it when we're in the room. And we can have like the opportunity to be holding the entire run in our hands, and that feels very different to me. Like we know the people who are gonna delete and next. They just keep hitting that they're not even gonna do the 15 second countdown. That's our goal. We just want them to get up right away. And so that is different. There's no more waiting. We're aware of it, so we want to give the audience more than one reason to do that thing to yes, please get me on to the next one. So that's very different. And yeah. that is a big conversation we have about. Yeah. Thank you guys.